learning how to be present. Now this was the most difficult thing for me, but also the most rewarding thing that I gained from being unemployed because before I was someone who would think so much about the future or ruminate so much about the past. And I was doing that every day and it's not healthy. I learned that there's a time and place for that, but that's not every day. But once I quit my job, I was able to be more present and take control over my time and that made me feel less anxious because I no longer felt like, oh, I was compelled to do a job that I didn't want to do. And that made me free up so much of my mental space that was so clouded with my feelings about this job and then doing this job that was draining me. And one thing that I learned to enjoy during this time was actually how to cook. And I would rush the process always until the food would come out actually really bad and I would hate it. But once I became unemployed or I had the opportunity to just slow down and focus on what I was doing, you know, start playing music and just being present in the moment of creating an actual meal. And that actually made me like cooking way more than I did before, so that's a plus. So if you're the type of person who struggles with being present, I honestly believe that taking some time off from work is going to do you some good because it's gonna help you cut all that extra noise, um, this clouding up your mind, and it's gonna allow you to be present and sit with your emotions and kind of sort through whatever you're feeling or thinking. It's extremely helpful. And I feel like I have changed. I'm not the same person that I was before I quit, to be honest. I feel way more confident. Um, I'm not as anxious and I just feel lighter. <laughs> thing I've learned is that having a career is not that serious. Where do I begin with this one? I started this channel basically documenting my journey to transition into digital marketing and I would make videos about my apprenticeships, make videos about what I was doing, just the process, yada 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 yada. yada. And did that work out for me? not in what I had hoped. So I was hoping that I would get a job in digital marketing, start making more money and having a real career. I think the reason that I was so focused on having a real career and pursuing this is because I graduated from college in 2019. And after that, I did like a gap year with AmeriCorps Vista. And in between my gap year, the Rona happened in 2020. So I never really had the chance to pursue the aspirations that I had hoped to do before the pandemic happened. So I felt like I needed to prove to myself, I needed to prove to other people that I was going to use my degree, that I was gonna have a real career, and that I would start making real money. It's funny now because I use so much brain power while being unemployed. Um, thinking about career and work and working so hard towards something I thought I really wanted to do. And it turns out, because during this time I was doing apprenticeships, that, you know, I realized that I didn't want to work in marketing for 40 hours a week in a full-time career. I think more people should be able to, or if you have the opportunity to, should take time away from work to experiment with the things that you think you want to do so you can realize in what capacity that you want to do them. Because yes, I do enjoy working in social media, but I realize I enjoy working on my own social media and working with small business owners who are doing things that I believe in. That really put things in perspective for me because if I didn't take the time to try this, I would have never known that. And if I was still working and just went straight into a marketing career, I would have hated it. Yeah. Mon lapin. 
C'est mignon. It's cute to say that. <laughs> I value my time. I already known this, but taking some time off away from work just solidified it for me. It's something about taking a trip and knowing that the next day you don't have to worry about clocking in. It's something about taking a walk at 10 a.m. that just, it's just peak richness. It's something about walking into a store at 12 p.m. on a Wednesday that just makes you feel like, wow, I've made it in life. <laughs> Having so much free time and deciding what I wanted to do with it was so freeing and valuable for me. During this time, I was never bored because I have 10,000 hobbies and they made me so happy and I honestly feel very fulfilled from doing them. And my current one is learning French. And I can't wait till I get to the point where I can have a conversation but actually, no, we're gonna focus on the journey. I really enjoy having my free time. I love having free time and it's something that I did not take for granted while being unemployed. I did not take it for granted at all. I was able to start exercising, read again, start learning French, keep practicing my Spanish on a consistent basis, create YouTube videos, started freelancing, like, it was a lot. I also want to add that when I was in college, I used to wish that I could just focus on school and not have to work. And it's so funny that years later, I was able to achieve that. And I'm so grateful for that. Honestly, I needed this break. And I used to think about it like, oh, wow, I can't find a job. I can't find a job like this. It sucks that I can't find a job. But the truth of the matter is that it was necessary. I had good moments, I had bad moments, of course, but it truly helped me become a more confident person. I feel fresh. And now that I have a job, honestly, I don't feel that consistent tenseness or anxiety that I always felt. So that's a good thing. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have taken an extended amount of time from work or if you have been unemployed for a long time, like I was, let me know how that was for you. And if you plan on taking some time off from work, what do you plan on doing? And if not, if you could, what would you do? Ciao.